Good afternoon, everyone. At the top today, this afternoon, we know more about today's fatal fire in Lakewood, a suburban community west of Cleveland, packed with apartment buildings. This fatal fire struck at the Executive House Apartments, that is 11,839 Clifton Boulevard. News Channel 5's Justin Michaels has the latest. Fire broke out here at the Executive House Apartments just after midnight this morning. The only victim in this fire, Del DeSanto, 62 years old, of the Cleveland area. But other people that live in this apartment do tell us the smoke here this morning was overwhelming. As I came out, uh, it got worse and worse, and the, the, through the glass in there, it got real white and real white and smoky. Chip Martin and as many as 60 others living at the Executive House Apartments in Lakewood awoke Monday morning to smoke detectors, fire alarms, and the terrifying smell of smoke in their building. Everybody was evacuated. Uh, we had to uh, get uh, some people out, one person out through a window. Because the Executive House is five stories and 59 units, fire crews from Lakewood, Rocky River, Bay Village, and Cleveland responded to this fire. They had a real good response. There were like seven fire trucks here. So It was determined the blaze was confined to one first floor apartment, the home of 62-year-old wheelchair dependent Dale DeSanto, the only victim of the fire who died. By 1.45 this morning, all residents were allowed back in their apartments after firefighters forced all the smoke out of the building. Now there was one other victim in this fire this morning, a firefighter, a Lakewood firefighter, the one that was actually pulling Mr. DeSanto, the man who died from this building, was hurt while trying to make that rescue. We also know that all the smoke detectors in this building were working. Stay tuned to Newsnet 5 and News Channel 5 for all the updates. Reporting from Lakewood today, I'm Justin Michaels, News Channel 5.